Hey everyone, Jason Shavert here, M0A.com, back with Zach from Champion Aerospace, world famous AMP <laughs> mechanic, Russ Lovin, our director of maintenance here at M0A.com. So in the last video, you really got a dissertation on, on spark right. plugs and cleaning right. and gapping, and you mentioned this idea of rotating the plugs. Correct. And I, I thought it was interesting. I mean, I always thought I pull that from bottom number three. It's going back in bottom number three. Russ, why yeah. is that a bad idea? Why should we rotate? Um, the reason a lot of times you rotate them is due to the fact that you want to even wear it on the spark plugs. Makes sense. So, you know, just taking it from the top to the bottom is not going to give you even wear. Right. Yeah, that's that's correct. There's actually, there's. I'm glad you brought that up because that's one of the three main reasons that you rotate plugs. Top to bottom, because we talked about in the last video about, yes. you know, gravity and how the bottom plugs get oil fouled, right? So that's reason number one. But a more important reason, and, and before I jump into it, the reason we do it in general, just to get the big picture, is you're looking for even wear of the spark plugs. If you get even wear of your spark plugs, they're going to last longer, right? Well, just like you said last video, yeah. like, your spark plugs tell you so much about your engine exactly. and everything else, too. So if I'm getting uneven wear, right. that's telling me a lot as well. Yeah. Right, exactly. So jumping into the two other reasons, the, probably the most important one, which people don't understand, uh, but I'll, I'll describe it in simple terms, is what we call in the technical side polarity. Okay. And so a magneto, which we're, we're going to be talking about magnetos in a separate video right. here, so make sure you stay tuned in for that. But the magneto, when we dive into it, you'll see it has a magnet that rotates. And so a magnet has a north and a south pole, right? Yes. Well, depending, some half the plugs are firing, you know, when north and south are aligned like this, and half are firing when north and south are aligned like this. Right. Depending on how it's aligned, you're either getting a spark event from the ground electrode to the center electrode, or the center electrode to the ground electrode. Okay. And so only one of them is wearing. So in order to get evenly wearing on the center and the ground electrode, you need to make sure you're rotating for wow. polarity. And then the third reason is lead length, um, front to back. So you're doing top to bottom you're doing positive to negative polarity, and then you're doing front to back. Front cylinders have a tendency to run cooler than hotter cylinders, and there's also um, a difference in the way they wear based on the, ling the length of the lead. So those are the three main reasons that you're gonna rotate them. Interesting, I saw too, we talked about, it talks about rotating in our, in our manual and everything else. Correct, too, so absolutely. Like and so, and, and a spark plug. How to do it, yeah. Exactly, and so it's got different examples for both four and six cylinders. Interesting. Um, so if you're using a spark plug tray, which is highly recommended, absolutely. Um, it's gonna show you the proper rotation. Awesome, very cool stuff. We learned something new about why we need to rotate our plugs now. Uh, in an upcoming video, we're gonna dive into magnetos next. So be watching for that. Can't wait to read your comments below this video on Facebook, on YouTube, on M0A.com. Enjoy the rest of your day, and most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. We'll see ya. Pass your check ride, or I'll pay for it. Join our number one rated online ground school and participate in live mock check rides and interactive written test prep. Visit groundschoolacademy.com to learn more.